So hello my beautiful butterflies, today I'm going to be showing you how to reroute a doll's hair with a sewing needle. I've only, I mean I haven't seen actually anyone do this, That's, that doesn't mean that no one has done it, but I haven't seen anyone do it. Um, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it with a sewing needle. Um, just because like whenever I first started I did it with a sewing needle, so I wanted to show all of you um out there how to do it that way so what you're going to need is a cup that you're going to fill with warm water um a plastic baggie um then some tweezers one with a like bigger handle thing part and one with a smaller one i don't really know what the end of it's called um, a needle, preferably one with a bigger eye at the end, some scissors, um, and then of course your hair that you're going to be using. You can use synthetic or nylon, I think that's what it's called, um, but yeah. Um, and then also your doll that you're going to be rebooting. So you're going to start by cutting all of the hair off um, to like the very, very, like there's none left. Um, you want to go as far down as you can go. This is um, pretty much as far down as I can go. So now we're going to be taking the head off. So to warm up the head a little bit so that it's easier to take off and the neck peg will have a smaller chance of breaking, you're going to put the head into the bag um, and stick it into the cup full of warm water. Leave it in there for like maybe... Um, 15 seconds, I think, is how long I left it in there for. Also, you're going to want a towel on your surface just so that you don't spill water anywhere. But now the head should be warmer. If it's not warm enough, put it back in to the water, of course. My neck was already broken. I do want to say that. Um, but you're going to pretty much just, um, pull the head off. And you may need to, like, squeeze the head a little bit. I t did twist mine as well. But... My neck peg is perfectly fine, and that is really the only... I mean, the, the neck matters too, but my neck breaking wasn't too big of a deal to where, like, my head wouldn't go back on or anything. So, she was good. But now we're going to have to get all this hair out of here. So, you're going to um, dunk the head into the hot water. Make sure that it fills up with the hot water so that the glue can kind of dissolve, um, I guess, or melt off or whatever it does. Um, but this does like warm, um, the glue up so that you can get the hair out easier. Um, so now you're going to stick your tweezers in there and just kind of pull the hair out. Like just grab a hold of whatever you can and pull it out until it's all out is all I can say. This does, does take a while and your fingers do start to hurt. So, um, I'm going to be going out for a little second because this was... It wasn't, like, painful or anything. It was just boring sitting here and doing this without any entertainment. So, I went and watched some movies and stuff. But it is kind of gross what comes out of it. So, yeah. Um, forgot to turn my light off. Um, I'm doing a voiceover later. So, that's why. But this is the head whenever all of the hair is taken out. Um, and now we're going to be actually starting to, um put the hair into the head and I chose this like reddish maroony pinky color I don't know what it is but I chose this color um so you're going to take your needle and get a little bit of hair I see this right here is too much um if you put too much into the head it will cause scalp splits which basically you um well, this, the little hole will split or break or whatever, and then you can't put hair into it because the hole would be too big. Um, so yeah, so you want to put little teeny bits of hair in there, um, so that doesn't happen pretty much. But you're going to want to thread the hair that you have through the needle and pull it up just a little bit and... Um, kind of hold it there like so and then you'll want to put the needle into the hole 
and skip this part line that is there so like wherever there's like um, a bunch of teeny little holes all stuck together that is the part line and you're going to want to skip that because there's a completely different steps that you have to take for that so make sure that you're not um you skip that part um so yeah and then kind of whenever you're pushing the needle down direct it towards the um neck i did have one incident where i accidentally poked it through the other side of the head and um i mean it didn't show or anything so it wasn't too bad but then also this be the needle becomes really hard to push out so i had to um push it against a table to get it to that point um so now i'm going to pull on the needle with these tweezers if it won't come out you can try pushing it down as far as it can go with the tweezers on the top but mine came down so then you'll just want to pull um the hair out and you're going to want to tie this or knot it or knot it i guess um but you're going to the part that came out of the head you're going to have to tie this and you want to make sure that you get every single hair or else some of it will come out and then it'll just look weird i used water to make sure that they all stuck stuck together really well so that it was easier to tie together So then you just pull it together and um, you would cut the extra hair um, off. I didn't this time. I don't remember why, but you do need to cut that off or else it will start sticking out of the neck if it's too long. Now she does look a little crazy right now, but um, as you can see, this is kind of a long process. It, it takes about five minutes at least for me to do it. So I'm going to come and check back in once I'm done with the entire um, first circle well here i am i'm done with the entire first circle so um this does take a while and if you do like want to actually consider like rebooting a lot of doll's hairs definitely 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 buy the tool um it it is so much better not to make you click off this video or anything because you know you want to try to um I did this full head with the um, sewing needle and it is difficult it does take longer but if you are only gonna do one doll definitely don't buy the needle I mean definitely don't buy the tool um, so now I'm done with the entire head um, this has been a month month I know um, I'm sorry I'm sorry that it took so long but now we're going to be showing you how to do the part so you, again you're going to want to um thread the hair through the needle um it's pretty much all the same until about halfway so once you've threaded the hair through the needle you're going to um plunge it into the head head, head bleh, head again but this time you're going to direct it one way so if you want um so you're going to direct one way that you plunge it the left and you're going to do um you're going to do another hair another like set of hairs or whatever in the other way so you would plunge one set of hairs to the left and you would plunge one set of hair to the right and then um you'll also want to tie these both at the bottom and then do this for the entire part line um so yeah now i know we did tie them but just for extra security and all of that i'm going to use some fabric glue this has been the best thing for me to use um i don't know if i would recommend like sabo or whatever but it worked for me so you know that's um a good sign i guess since it worked i don't know it worked for me so now you don't want to put too much glue because it won't allow you to be able to put the neck peg back in and that is not good you'll also want to clean up around the neck where the glue is um if you like spilled some glue out of the neck hole and then you'll just want to wait 
about eight hours overnight um, as long as you need to for it to dry while you are holding or um, while it's being held up like this you don't have to hold it the entire time just set it up against something but um, I'm gonna come back in about well eight hours and show you how to put the neck peg back on um, so yeah once you have let this sit, um, the head sit overnight or for a couple hours or something, you're just going to push the head down and, um, like, really hard and try to get it on your first try, um, and if you see the neck starting to crack, um, try gluing the neck, like, where the crack is. <laughs> Her leg's gonna come attack you, but, um with like super glue or putting some um, glue inside of the neck um, that will make it stay better also if your head rips at any place um, you can glue it right there as well um, for me I had to I I kind of messed up on the glue a little bit and so it was too far down and so it was kind of making it hard for me to push the neck peg down so make sure you're like really really um, to get the glue all the way down you're like shoving like a pencil in their neck or or in their head or something like that and pushing it down as far as you can go so that there in, is oh, plenty of room for the neck peg in all of its entirety to be in there but um also my hair was really really poofy because like um well it was okay my hair was really poofy because I had to like have it in these different situations and all this stuff where and it was like really crazy and all this stuff but I just put some ponytails and um like wrapped it around the waist and the neck to hold it down but that is all for me today so I really hope you enjoyed this video and that um it helped you get your doll some new hair but um, also, if you did like this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe down below and turn on the post notifications so that you can get notified every single time I post. I know it's so crazy. But also check out my description to get some um, more detail, more details about my channel. Um, again, that's all for me. So, bye.